welcome back guys to my new video in this video i will be continuing from the place where i left in my previous video so let's get into this now the next thing we can do is we can create a little arrow icon on this text column of the services to do this we are going to use before and after classes it is a pseudo class and using this we can create such icons and the way we are going to create that icon is using the border so first of all let's create a 10 pixel border and the color will be transparent and we just want to set the color of the left border and I want to position this absolutely from 50% from the top and 100% and 100% from the left okay it's not appearing maybe I need to create my parent div relative the parent div is not relative so just make the text column to position relative now we can see the icon now we can see little icon and we can adjust it maybe we can change its border size about let's say 15 pixel looks fine and we can place it center from the top so to place it at the center let's reduce some percentage from the top okay 46 percent looks good now change the css here okay looks fine now for the column on the row 2 we can simply change the direction of the arrow to do this just change some css now we get that now we have completed other things now we can manage the slider section so to use a plugin we need a jquery file so just you can download the jquery from the web once you have downloaded the jquery file just create a folder called js and put this file inside it and we need to link this file inside our html file so create a script type of text javascript and sources and give the name of the file now the slider that i am going to use for this tutorial is called JSO slider it is a uh, one of my favorite slider because in this slider you can get a lot of transitions effects and it is also responsive and easy to use so login to your account and go to demo and just select a slider I'm going to use this slider because it contains the caption and it is it looks simple too so you can edit this slider just remove all the images that you don't want and change the layout
now just export the code into the standard format just extract here and you can see we have got a new JS file that is JS or slider min.js and another folder img so to use this slider we need to link this js file inside our html file so now we can copy this loading icon because and we don't need another images because we will be using our own images so the next thing is just copy this CSS and the script we have already linked the file so just paste the script at the bottom and just remove the style and you can place these styles inside your CSS file And you can remove these previous cases now the next thing is just copy this div of this slider copy this and paste it in your HTML file now another thing is we need to copy this initialization also so just copy it and place it at the below of this slider now we got a beautiful slider but we need the slider to have the length 100% so just remove this code and now we have got this slider of 100% width and you can set the maximum width to 100% now just change the caption okay but when I think we need to fix some CSS to make the caption display properly
now the next thing we can do is we can create a searching box that is when we click on the little search icon then we want to display a box where we can type the keywords to search anything to do this just I just want to create a input field or actually I want to wrap it inside a div of source box I want to position this source box absolutely just change some CSS and now the source box looks fine now I want to hide this source box initially and when I click on the source icon I want to display it and when I again click on the source icon I want to hide it to do this I can use a simple jQuery code first of all I want to hide this source box so I want to set its display property to none and I want to write a simple jQuery code Now let's see when I click the source box appears and when I again click it disappears but one thing is I also want to focus the input field when I click on the icon so I can write a little bit jQuery here also to focus the input now when I click on this icon the input is also focused and displayed okay now it looks fine since this is a single page website when we click on the links on the navigation we want to scroll to the various sections that we have specified so to do this in the hyperlink just put the section name that we'll be using as id we want to reference the id of the various sections using this hyperlink after that we want to add little javascript like this Let's refresh and see. Okay. Let's click. Oh. It's not working properly. The problem is okay, there is a double script tag. So just remove it. And now let's check again. Click on the feature section now it is scrolling smoothly and this is what we needed okay fine so all right guys by this we have completed the web page design and in this web page you can modify a lot of things like the colors text and padding margin to make this website look better as you want you can modify various sections also to give new look and you can replace the images all right guys by this we have completed the conversion of our simple web page into simple html file and i will be uploading this html file in my website and i'll also put the link in the description 
from where you can download this file and you can study and learn various things and you can use this website for your own purpose and you can modify various sections in this website so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please hit that like button and also please subscribe and don't forget to put your comments i'll be uploading more videos in future so please subscribe my channel thank you